Hi, and welcome to Winning the Inside Battle Wednesdays, because the battle for wellness and really everything else is between your ears. When it comes to sticking to your diet or exercise program, it's really not in your stomach or your muscles, it's our thinking. And so we're all about transforming the way we think about our health. Last week we were talking about the marshmallow principle, knowing tricks, having tools, ways of thinking that keep you focused on the things that are important. So today I'm gonna to ask you a question. How many bugs do you eat in a year? It may be more than you thought. We're featuring today some bugs, and, and one unfortunately is still alive, even though there's water in there, he's living still, he's still kicking, but it's for science, it's for a good cause. You know, and this is an important point because many of us have been told that we eat roughly eight spiders a year while we sleep. That has been dispelled. I, I thought that was true. I still thought I was eating spiders. That myth has been dispelled. First of all, scientists looked at it and said, what's the likelihood eight spiders a year actually walk across your bed and go in your mouth and then you eat them? First of all, spiders would be fearful. From my understanding, they, were, they have spidey sense. Their spidey senses would be tingling and they wouldn't go into your mouth and die. And so, so they're just, the, sp the spiders are too smart and, and the odds are too great that you'd eat eight. But many people are eating a lot of bugs and don't know it. Now, if I said to you, would you eat a bug? The answer would be, you know, certainly not intentionally. Maybe I'm riding my bike and something flies in my mouth, but I wouldn't pick up a bug and eat it. But you might have to understand a few things then about processed foods. So for example, these jelly beans here, the coating on those jelly beans is from the Kerry Ayaka bug. It's the hard coating on candies. It's, it's a bug. So many people, if they eat candy, are eating lots of bugs. The dyes that are particularly in berry flavored drinks and, and foods, like this healthy drink that we use for sports, or these healthy uh, berry things here, these raspberry, strawberry, little fruit gels, those are filled with the red dyes that are made of cochineal bugs. Bugs just like these guys right here. So again, you wouldn't pluck this out and eat one of these bugs, but yes, you are eating bugs every day in that food. When we talk about drinks, you wouldn't make a drink with a bug mixer and start sipping it, but when you're drinking colored sodas and colored drinks, those dyes or, the, or that cherry you put in there, those are made from bugs. So this comes down to my Jack LaLanne principle. And by the way, I've got one more thing because this was a weird one. This pancake cupcake mix um, has all the red dyes, the yellow dyes, all the things we're talking about in there. So even though we're eating a cupcake or a pancake, we're eating bugs. So the Jack LaLanne rule is the one I want you to walk away with from this video today. In my first book, Body by God, we taught just eating things that God made. And this is what I call the Jack LaLanne rule. And we had millions of testimonies come in of people that lost weight, lost diseases, conditions, threw out medications, just doing what Jack LaLanne said, which was, if God did not make it, then I won't eat it. And it's a real sound principle. Now, somebody on here might say, but God made bugs. Yes, but those are the naturally grown, naturally raised bugs in their, in their normal habitat. The bugs that are in these foods I'm mentioning today, these processed foods, those bugs have been refined. They've been fed artificial ingredients, not their normal diet. You don't want to eat those bugs. We're talking about a principle that says the closer something is to the way God made it, the way it is naturally raised, the healthier it is for you. And the farther away something is from its natural state, the more toxic it becomes, it sits in your system, your system is not designed to metabolize it, it causes disease and can make you fat. So remember today the Jack Lane rule. Uh, for more principles like these, again, it's the tricks, it's the tools, it's the change in the way you think about your body and what foods do to it that will make the difference. For more information on that, go to drbenlearner.com. And remember this, these companies that make this red stuff, these fake berry beans, the candies with the, with the bug shellac, 
these companies are making trillions of dollars. So somebody's eating it. In fact, most people are eating it or they're drinking it. So please share these videos, share the information. Let's not just change the world together. Let's save it. Bless you and remember who you are.